Good morning, good morning! Hey! And welcome back to another channel, another channel, another video guys. I hope you're all oh, doing well. So um, I thought I'd start off the vlog here. We've got quite a cute weekend ahead of us. It is Saturday. Um, I've just come back from a little coffee date with my friend Alex and it was really cute and it was so nice to catch up. We've, um, we both agree that we've just got one of these friendships where it's low maintenance, like no social battery. We haven't seen each other in about two, three months, but it's like nothing's changed. We just had a little catch up on each other's lives and it was so, so nice. And now me and James are off to the gym together and then we're going to nip to Tesco and get some little bits and pieces for our homemade pizzas tonight and then we're going to have a drink together as well. Ooh. Just getting our energy drinks to the gym because we are old now and need energy drinks to suffice for the gym. Um, and then we're probably going to have a few movies thinking Harry Potter because it's getting proper autumnal out there guys. Like I mean like proper windy, raining, hot in the morning, oh no cold in the morning, then gets hot in the afternoon, then freezing again in the night. Proper jumper but lightweight jumpers, really autumnal. So I thought, well, it gets cold again and windy and horrible in the night time later on. We'll watch a few Harry Potters with some homemade pizzas and probably a gin, which would be really nice. And then tomorrow, we're all going on a walk to Delamere and we're going to bring my niece Lola. So that's going to be really cute. We're going to take the dogs as well. So it's going to be a proper test to see if we could make it as parents. Even though we're so young and we're not even thinking about children, we've not even bought our first house yet. But it is going to be a really good test to see if we could handle a three-year-old between the pair of us and two dogs on a walk out in Delamere. My um, my thought process is I'll pick her up, um, I'll just pack a load of snacks, I'll try and entertain her as much as I can. And what I can't entertain, I'm just going to throw sugar at and just pray for the best. And then hopefully she'll just have a sugar crash and fall asleep in the car on the way home. So that's my hope. I'll probably get a McDonald's on the way home as well and a new toy and just make a day. Um, so I just thought I'd crack on and do a little autumnal weekend together because it's going to be so cute. I was going to vlog the whole coffee date but because I thought I haven't seen Alex in such a long time I don't want to just throw a camera in her face because it's not going to be a proper catch up then, it's not going to be a proper little best friends catching up, it's just going to be like an interview basically. So that was my thought process so hi guys, welcome back to another video, thank you so much for joining. Please remember to like and subscribe to follow all my other future videos. And let's have a really cute autumnal weekend together. And we are back. James is already, oh wait, no, he's still drinking that. We've been to the gym. James did upper, I did lower. Um, we tend to just do that in the gym. We tend to just kind of like separate. Um, we're definitely not one for like doing it together, which is fine because I kind of like getting in my own little space when I go to the gym. But now we are back. I'm about to pour myself a drink. James is having. And then we're going to make homemade pizza. So James wants me to prep the toppings for the homemade pizza. He's just nipped home because he forgot his little, um, like, to, to sieve the pizza. Like, the little. I'll, I'll, I'll make him show you when he comes back. But let's just get the toppings out. Four toppings. James has gone for ham, mozzarella, and baby plum tomatoes. I have gone for chicken and peppers and mozzarella, and then we've also got the other mozzarella, the grated mozzarella. And I'm gonna go for a red pepper, because red peppers are my favorite peppers ever. And I know some people say, oh, dough prepping. I know some people say like, they don't taste the difference in peppers, but you definitely can. I had a little look on the pepper chart on Google and it says that red peppers are the sweetest. So that's probably why I like them the best because I have a major sweet tooth. Um, me and James also paid separately in Tesco because no matter where we go, we've still got baby faces. I'm 22 and he's 23 and yet we still get ID'd everywhere so 
I had to go pay for snacks separately and I shouldn't be left in the snack aisle alone because I forgot my ID. Um, I should not be left in the snack aisle alone. I ended up spending more than James um, on snacks. And I found something out about James today as well. He doesn't like hobnobs. Who doesn't like hobnobs? So we are just prepping the food. God. I'm like Kendall Jenner. I can't cut up vegetables. Yeast. So we're just prepping and priming, starting with peppers. But yeah, not, nothing much to catch up on really. Me and Alex had a nice catch up this morning with coffee. Now we are meal prepping for our homemade pizzas. Uh, I think we're going to watch Harry Potter tonight as well. Because I was expecting like a really dark, windy, cold, raining night. And it's like summer, I'll show you outside. Oh, let me go show you James's um, pizza oven as well that he got last Christmas. Also, can we please just ignore my spots? They are on the way out, so yeah it's like a it's like a summer's day but how cool is it so i think oh no i think oh i don't know oh no pizza's going this end so let's just have a little Ooh. so pizza's going that bit so that's exciting i'll get him to show you or i might record james putting the pizzas in Oh, it's all gone dark. And um, we'll record putting the pizzas in. Have a little seat. Why not? And then cooking away. And then I think the rest of the plan is, is once we've made the homemade pizzas, is to obviously eat them, watch some Harry Potter, and then probably have a few drinks and go to bed because we are up early. Um, we were hoping for a lion, but like I said, we're going to Delamere for a walk. Uh, with my gorgeous niece so we'll be up bright and early for that one which is exciting as well because we'll get some coffee we've got some snacks for her as well and um, she's definitely in this age though at the minute where she likes to be carried around everywhere which is fine because i'll miss it when she's a teenager and she doesn't want to know me because i'm not cool enough so yeah i will catch up with you all a little bit later on probably when the pizzas are in motion or when james gets back to show you his i'll get him to show you the pizza oven because he can go into more depth with it than i can and yeah let's have a cute little autumnal weekend together it's not good why i'm not you can record like but there ain't no italian yet we're going to italy Going to Italy, honey. So it's okay. A corner or a sack? Hmm? Tits on. Mm, thanks, Con. Leaving him with these people. Everyone 
watch them all day. They're the worst sort of muggles. Imagine it. They really are. The only family here. This boy will be famous. I want everything to be perfect for my Dudley's special day. Honey, Bring my coffee boy. Yes, Uncle Bonnet. How many are there? How many are there? 36. Counted them myself. Good morning, guys. I feel like this vlog has just been entirely in this kitchen. Um, but it is now Sunday morning, so we are going for our dog walk in Delamere. I've tried the Refai brow kit again, and I'm just... I don't think I can do it properly. You just look a bit more sharpie effect than I would normally go for with the brow gel, so. Luckily I had to do it. Here he is, he's just tried to put the car seat in the car, so I'll just see if he was successful or not in putting the car seat in the car. Right guys, so it's now Monday. Um, I didn't record much after we fitted the car seat and we got Lola and, well, I didn't record anything because, sorry, I've just been to the gym and I need to wash my hair. Um, yeah, because we were trying to test ourselves, me and James, to see if we could handle going out for a walk. Oh my God, my hair. I didn't, I've only washed it once last week. I was gonna wash it last night, but I was completely exhausted after yesterday. So, now it's Monday and it's a grease bomb. Uh, which is fine because we've just done our cardio day in the gym. It's just, it's just disgusting. So yeah, um, we wanted to test ourselves and see if, because obviously I've not seen Lola in ages either, so I wanted to spend some time with her and we thought it would be the perfect opportunity while mum and dad were away as well to see if we could cope with going for a long walk with two dogs, just me and James and a three year old. And it was amazing. Um, I'm only going to show the ones that you can't really see Lola on because I've not asked the mum if obviously we can show her on camera. Which is another reason that I didn't vlog as much yesterday because um, I just wasn't entirely sure what our limits would be. But that's, there are a few Polaroids from yesterday and then I have got pictures as well of James and the baby. She, um, it wasn't sunny, it was a little bit, but it wasn't horrendously sunny, but she just, she's obsessed with sunglasses. <laughs> Um, so I've got a few good ones of them both being really, really cute together. Um, and I really do appreciate James for how good he is with Lola. But it was really good, actually. We did two, two and a half miles. The dogs were fine. The baby walked for a mile, which we were really surprised about. And then the last stretch of the walk, she wanted to be carried, so that was fine. And then we got a McDonald's on the way home. Um, watched Harry Potter with her in the afternoon which she never watched Harry Potter before and she loved it. I was a bit worried because it was the second film and I know the second film can be a bit like I was scared of it and I was like six, seven, eight when I watched it um, and she was three and she was fine. I don't think she fully understood what was going on but she was like wow flying car wow like magic wand and we were like yep okay fine <laughs> you do that she loved it and then when we dropped her off at home um, her mum just got a takeaway. <laughs> So this, we were like, right, we'll leave you to your tea. Bye, Lola. She didn't even look up. Which we went, right, bye, Lola. But yeah, bye. Because she was just mesmerised. We fed her a tea. But she loves a good takeaway, the girl. So that was fine. Um, yeah, so it was a really nice day. And then we had some burgers. Maybe I had my dad when he got back from his holiday. Um, before we did that, after we dropped her off as well, we went to have a look at a potential house. Which was... Um, we shouldn't have done it really because I'm now gutted because I rang the estate agent this morning and they said, oh, we're so sorry, it's just sold this morning. So I've got my hopes up of this gorgeous, gorgeous house. And she said, well, the sale hasn't fully gone through yet. So obviously if it falls through, I'll ring you first and I'll let you know. And I was like, okay. Because I got my heart set on it. And then we rang about a different house and that one had just sold this morning as well. And then we rang over a different house and we got a viewing for that house and then within half an hour, I mean I'm not even joking, I got my email confirmed me viewing and then the email above it, which is my next email, said household. Within half an hour, 20 minutes, like no one prepares you for how hard this 
house market is at the minute like it's just ridiculous like they'd be on the market one minute sold them the next people aren't even viewing houses i don't know what sort of people money have these days but i could never ever ever put in an offer on a house that i've not viewed like how do you know if there isn't plumbing issues foundation issues like loose broken sockets and wires uh, like electrical issues i don't know like damp like mold like how do you know there's not serious issues that you're gonna find yourself like having to spend a lot on like broken windows broken boilers like they, these things all add up so it's like how how and people are saying the estate agents are saying people are putting offers in and it tends to be like builders and developers and then they're just doing them up and then selling them for more i'm like well where does that leave first time buyers said yeah yeah the market's ridiculous i was like oh so i was like right that's it <laughs> so the i've got three viewings with james on wednesday for houses and then another viewing on thursday for another house so four viewings um within two days so wednesday and thursday for potential houses um hopefully i love them as much as i loved the one that we looked at on sunday night because that one was our dream home like even with even it being our first time home there was a lot that it could have been done with the garden was massive it could have been developed it could have been extended like james said we could have just like lived in how it was now and then over the years just put an extension on do it up a bit do up the garden the garden had loads of potential it was right in the middle of farmer's field as well so the views have been gorgeous there's loads of places to walk the dogs really quiet nice area um and James said that it, it could have been our forever home, it could have been just our one and only because it just had that much potential in it. And it was perfect pricing as well and the people that bought it got it for under offer as well. I was like, I went to the woman on the phone, I was like, I'll pay more, I'll, I'll pay more. <laughs> and she was like, oh, no, they've already accepted it. I was like, oh. So, we've got four viewings on Wednesday and Thursday. Three on Wednesday, one on Thursday, so hopefully, we can make an offer but i just i'm not the type of person that is going to put an offer on a house that i don't know anything about and i like to get a feel of a house as well like i like to step in through the door and think could i imagine myself living here like is this the type of house that i like like is there any potential for extensions is there any potential for like doing up and modernizing put your own spin on it like these are the type of houses that i'm looking at so we'll see the one on thursday i'm not too keen on it was the one that we I first asked if we could have a viewing and that's only because it's been on the market for ages there's nothing wrong with it um, it's just not something I would go for and then the three that we have on Wednesday are the ones that I'm really interested in the last one that we're viewing on Wednesday is the one that I'm really really interested in the one that I'm really hopeful for but we'll see so what I'm going to do is wash my hair for one uh, I need to clean my room and do like a little like spring clean in here as well because a lot of things need dusting. So I might do that before I wash my hair and I'll catch up with you guys a bit later on. But I just wanted to come on and say like obviously it's still going on. The vlog's still continuing because I was supposed to film a little autumnal walk with you guys. But trying to carry a child um, who's quite heavy actually because she's really tall for her age uphill with two dogs and poor James had a full backpack full of drinks and snacks in case she needed them like nappies and wipes and whatever it was it was challenging plus there was a 10k run on so there was runners everywhere everybody who had a horse decided that they were going to go to Delamere that day as well and walk their horse Um, other people have dogs other people have kids prams so there's like it wasn't exactly like a, a quick and easy walk it's uh, something I could vlog or film it was hard enough to try and get those pictures over on the walk because um, she's obsessed with walking the dogs so. we did it though and it was really really easy between the pair of us it just wasn't easy enough that i could vlog <laughs> i've only got so many hands she, she was in charge of walking the dog and then obviously when she got fed up i was in charge of holding it and walking the dog whilst diving in and out of horses and prams and other dogs and runners and people and i was like oh and it's all uphill as well so my legs are killing me but we did it and it was really fun and it just showed that me and James could cope with two dogs and a child which is always good as well because I want four dogs and four kids but obviously that is very much under review 
because I'm not even going to think about having kids until I'm 28. <laughs> and by that time, I might have like one child and the four dogs and be like, well, no, that, that's it for me. Which is another reason why that house is perfect on Sunday because it had a massive garden and loads of farmland that we could just let the dogs just... But, here's hoping that the sale falls through. <laughs> my lovelies my hair is washed dried i've just had my food and i'm like oh I'm really full and tired now i've got the this is a stupid idea but i've got the candles on the blinds are closed the room is completely refreshed and cleaned i'll show you around but we've got all the the low lighting on to set the moods, obviously I need to close them blinds, but them blinds are sure. So we are all cosy and ready for bed. It's just been raining today, it's been cold, so all I've literally done is been to the gym, cleaned up my room, read a book, and that's it. Just enjoyed the rain and being all cosy and autumnal. So I will see you all. I'll close the vlog here because it's been quite a again quite busy um it's been here and there if i had asked my niece's mum if like obviously she could be in the vlog it might have been different but probably not because like i said it wasn't a case of that that i wanted to vlog i'm mean, sorry it wasn't a case of that i wanted to vlog but i wasn't sure if she's allowed in it it was more of a case of there was two dogs and a three-year-old that we had to ferry around this massive forest so it wasn't really feasible for me to vlog anyway but um i will see you guys all in my next video and thank you so much for watching bye guys